Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today is October 15th and it looks like that there's another update inside of Goodlock and this time it's for the module that's called Home Up. Home Up is a way that you're able to change and enhance the way that your home screens look, your folders, and also now the brand new added Share Manager. So Share Manager, all that we're really talking about here and what has been able to be changed is when you go inside of really anything inside of your gallery or almost any time that you hit this Share button, you'll be able to see these options here. So you can see the information of what you're sharing. You also have the option for nearby share. Here is your quick contacts that you probably just recently reached out to or they might think you would send it to them as a recommendation. And then you have all the rest of the applications over here. And then you can just kind of choose however you would like to send it. Now, if you would like to customize what pops up when you hit the share button, that is what this update does. So first off, Goodlock is an application that you're able to download from the Galaxy Store. It is a region locked application. So if you try to search inside the Galaxy Store for Goodlock and you can't find it, it's just not available. Now, once you have it all downloaded and installed on your phone. What you want to do now is choose one of these modules. Now there's a lot more over here inside of family, but underneath the normal units, just go to home up, hit install, and then you go back the screen, you go back in, and this is the screen that you look at. So now that you have this one ready to go, let's go inside of share manager and let's take a look at this update. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest updates on anything Samsung, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for all notifications. So now that we're inside of the screen here, it's just kind of showing you an example of what it could look like, what you're able to change. So right here, you can take away if you don't really need to see that sharing detail, but sometimes it's nice to see at least the image and as well as the size. Now, nearby share, if you're somebody who doesn't really use nearby share, maybe there's somebody around you, maybe you're the only Android user in the household, nobody else has it, uh, you can simply turn that off if you don't wanna see it, but this is a pretty nice way to share any content to another uh, Android device. Then you have show direct share, so this way you'd be able to have a good recommendation of people to send it to. You can also add in your favorite direct shares, but then this is where you can really fully customize everything. So let's say that you maybe always like to share photos or videos and let's say that you always put it up on Facebook now in terms of Facebook where do you usually like to share it sometimes you'd have to search for the option of story sometimes you have the news feed maybe you just want it to go uh, on like everything Facebook but I'm not gonna choose that option usually I like to share things on news feed I've actually never put anything in a story ever uh, so I'm gonna choose news feed so that's gonna be one of the very first options. Another thing I like to do is Hangouts. I usually share this one. Uh, a lot of times I share things with Brett. My buddy Brett and I, we always use Hangouts. Uh, and then let's say that you wanted to go down and let's look at the options for Twitter. For Twitter, you can have pretty much all of them showing there, uh, or you can have it just maybe as a tweet. Unless if you do a lot of things with the direct message, you're able to choose direct message, then you just hit on add. And then for fun, let's just choose Snapchat and we, we hit add. But now let's say that there's one of these that you uh, don't really want to use anymore. Simply tap on the icon, it takes it away, uh, but we're gonna leave it looking just like this. So what you're gonna see in here in just a little bit, is it could be Facebook uh, newsfeed, the Hangouts tweet, as well as Snapchat. If you'd like to have this little ad added, you know, all apps option, you can have that as well too. We're gonna have that turned off. So now that we have everything all set up, what I'm gonna show you is what it looks like when you have it set up like this. And I'll show you one more when it looks like this right here. Uh, so once you have it all done, we're gonna hit on back and then also make sure that you hit on save. Now what we're gonna do is go right inside of the gallery. We're gonna click on this image here. Now we're gonna to go to share. So this is what it's gonna show. It's gonna show the options of Hangouts there and whoever is most recommended to send it to. Uh, you have your Snapchat. Here's the top two options that we also chose. And then it's only gonna show these right here. These are the ones that we have always really chosen, which is the news feed, the Hangouts, the tweet, as well as Snapchat. Now, if you'd like to have more options show up, let me show you the other way you can do this. So go back inside of here. For this one up on the very top right hand side, turn on all apps hit on save one more time. So this way you'd be able to see more applications you can share things with. So again, we're gonna go right back inside of here. There's all of that one there. And then here's all apps. So this way now it's gonna go back to what it used to look like. So it's kind of a way that you're able to choose, you know, do you want it to always look like this? This is by stock, you have all these different options. Um, or do you wanna keep it as that specific way that you set up? Like this is really all you really need to have if you're sharing any type of content. 
But then again, if you do need to go back to everything else, there's all your options. And this is what it would look like by stock. The previous screen is what we just got done setting everything up as. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,